So over here you can see that I got a table of data. So let's say I want to create a multiplication table right here. So for this, I'm going to use something called a data table. Let me just expand this quickly because you can't see the data right here. So over here, what I want to do is I want to take the top value and then multiply it by the bottom value. So I'm going to do one myself manually so that I can tell Excel what uh, it can do for me. So over here, I'm going to press equals. I'm going to take the top value right here, this is B1, and I'm going to multiply it by this value right here. So six is the answer. So I want to do, uh, I want Excel to do the same for me with these data over here. For example, I want one to be multiplied by one, display the value here, two to be multiplied by two, and it should be displayed right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this table, just like this. You can see that I selected the data right here. I'm going to go over to data right here, and then I'm going to go into what if analysis. Over here, you can see an option called data table. So I want that. So now you can see that it says row input cell and column input cell. So for the row input cell, I'm going to add in the row, all right? See the row, which is this. So I'm going to use this value right here. And then for the column input cell, I'm going to use this value right here. So now once I do that, it takes the data and once I press OK, you can see that the multiplication table has been generated. So it is ta taking this as the, it is taking these two values as the sample for the rows and columns and then it is bringing out the value. Let me just quickly select all of these and then expand this so that you can see the value right here. And now you can see that uh, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 right here and 6 multiplied by 7 is 42. So right now this is a raw data. What I can also do is I can sort the data out and then put in different uh, color ranges right here. So I'm going to go over here just like this. I'm going to go into conditional formatting. So I'm going to go over here to insert conditional format. Okay, so if I don't find it, I'm just going to do conditional formatting right here and then have the color ranges. And you can see that the color ranges has been filled, lower values green and upper values are uh, red. So now this is the multiplication table. And if I want to make the changes, make say, let's say I want to make it a division table, and let's say B, this is taken as a reference for columns and this for rows. So I want to divide uh, column by rows. So I'm simply going to do this, divide it, as you can see right here, press enter. And now this is a division table. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 divided by 6 is 0 0.6. So you can see that this is how the values are actually meant up. So you can make an addition table right here. Addition. So 1 plus 10 is 11 and so forth. And you get the idea. Multiplication. Enter. So that is how you can use data table inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.